Hey everyone, Brain, I'm super excited about. Uh, oh, um, Orm is my scent of the day. I already skipped ahead. What's your scent of the day or night whenever you're watching this? This, this brand, Not Perfumes, this is not a review. It's a fun name. They don't even label their bottles. I had to go online to like match the names. I have a couple memorized now. There's, there's the Orm. I will show juice on these all day long. The juice is beautiful. Maybe I'll put my Instagram pick up on here too. It's just, this juice is woo, dangerous stuff. All right, we're doing a review of Vaughn today by Not Perfumes. Brand with Therapeutic Fragrance. Thanks for finding the channel. Hope you guys are excited for this one. Stay tuned. All right, Not Perfumes Vaughn today for the review. Let's get the notes out of the way. Top, listen to these notes. Bergamot, cinnamon, clove, neroli, pink pepper, heart, coriander, cystus, rose, benzoin, labdanum, base, vanilla, civet, castorium, opanox. Yummy. Check out the juice. Hopefully it shows there. Dark, dark juices, yumminess there. I read the marketing nonsense, they call it marketing nonsense, in um, the Orm review. So if, if you want to, you can skip through to that. $138, Euro, $155, well, $138, Euro, $155, US, 15 ml. So these are X straights. Uh, priced really high, over $10, but they're potent, potent, potent stuff. I couldn't find out what um, the, the percentage level was. That's something I would like to know at the that high of uh, ML, $10. It was a, launched in 2018. I think all five fragrances were launched in November 2018. Johanna Venables is the perfumer, knows behind this. 10 votes, and this is already in a 4.89 out of five on Fragranica. People are loving this brand. X straight again. X straight time. I love my X straight. I, I, I haven't even opened this and I can smell this from, I must have a little bit around. It's powerful. This has a ton of tood, a ton of sweetness. It's not for everyone and it's not perfume. What perfume would the grease cast wear? What perfumes would the grease cast wear? I, I think this house would make something for them. Or even if you want to go darker, we could the uh, Game of Thrones cast. The, you make fancy clothes for these casts. Why not add a perfume to what they'd make? So let's put, I'm just put, building that imagination here. This is different stuff than what you're used to. This is creativity on it's creativity unboxed unleashed she gets that you got to use the dark resins as your base to make these things last forever they're there you need to make sure you're into heavy resins before even approaching this house i am i love resins I'm getting to know each one of them very very well and uh yeah they're they're here with power and punch. I don't know, I could say this is real civet in here. I, I She would have to say that, she didn't say that. I, I guess that it's not real civet in here. Castorium smells very authentic. So if she's using a synthetic on this, she blended very, very well. This this smells like just a very good leather on, on this fragrance. The very open, open smoky and very dark. The open X and Castorium just barely let you know they're there and they're gonna keep playing with the perfume during the wearing. Th that bergamot provides just the perfect balance against the soapy ba base that's used a ton in, in Shipraise as, as, as a partner. 
it got the soapiness with this dark, just powerful ingredients, resins. Uh, they settle into the skin pretty fast, and then it sweetens up right away to this grungy oriental uh, gourmand. Very dark and sweet, not like a dark chocolate, but I mean, a sweet tea with tons of bitter ingredients in the back, dark woodsy ingredients in the back that have both things going on. A dark oriental, the best I can do here describing a tarry, dark oriental in this fragrance. The, you guys saw the color of the juice. This stuff is, yeah, not perfume kind of thing. But um, people have been known to wear it on skin. I definitely did wear it on skin. This is the first time I've seen a rose as a note and not been able to smell it uh, right away. I keep looking for that rose and I wasn't able to smell it at all right away. Yeah, 45 minutes and I still can't smell the rose. First time I've seen a rose, I can't smell it right away. Bergamot is gone after the 45 minutes. And then it, it the full on turns into the, the oriental as that sweetness tries to fade out in the heart and just leave this dark, incense resinous dry down left on your skin. Is there such a thing as a leather cooking sheet? With that castorium, uh, cooking your fruits, drying your fruits, a, a real dark leather, fabric leather, with fruits on top, baking everything, and smelling that together, not burnt, but just smelling the goodness of all those ingredients. This is a bad woman fragrance. This this is for, I mean, you're, you're putting on the black leather jacket and going out and... This is full of attitude and you're taking <laughs> the night with you. Whatever whatever the night brings, you're taking it on. Men can definitely pull this off too. Uh, again, that's why I said grease cast, that kind of man, that John Travolta character kind of thing. With Yeah, the, 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 I, I really see just this tattooed up black leather woman wearing this kind of fragrance coming at me if I start coming out like, this, this is the kind of fragrance that go, would go in my mind for that kind of thing. If you guys saw my hide review, the dry down goes into that kind of full on incense birch tar, as I've mentioned here, but it, it, it smells birch tarry that almost after you, you pour out your fire, kind of wood dark smell. Um, <laughs> it, it's there. I like it. A lot of people don't keep that in mind. Again, this is attitude, full on attitude. I'm sure this event and castorium, you know, contribute to that factor. So keep all that in mind with this fragrance. The top, smelling these from the bottle. The X, I love smelling the extracts. That's what I almost always do. I'm videoing. It's potent. You, yeah. I would say real castorium. I don't, I, I have real civet and that stuff is nasty. I don't, it might have a touch of real civet in there. I can't tell you guys, but I, I'm almost sure it does have real uh, castorium in it. Don't know. Scoring for Vaughn, but not perfumes. Originality and uh, OG factor and addictiveness, 11 out of 15. Projection and sillage, five out of five. Longevity, four out of five. The composition, 20 out of 25. Ingredients and price to ML, 19 out of 25. The fragrance as a whole, top, heart, base. Top is a 10 out of 10. Heart is a three out of five. Base is a six out of 10. Giving this a final score 78. That's decent for the channel. Decant this all day long. Where would I have this in my uh, Collection, this is definitely mood or creative fragrance all day long for me. This is colder weather when you're wanting that full-on resinous campfires. I've talked about wearing this kind of stuff too. Roasted marshmallows campfire would be a good one. Who do I see wearing this? Megan Trainer. How many sprays? One or three for me. Peace out, guys. Thanks for being on the journey. You guys be blessed.